Okay. <clears throat> Today I thought we'd uh, take a walk through the big red tool chest. Not really machinist tools, uh, this is more mechanics tools. Uh, top drawer here, uh, pop riveters, folding rules, speed squares, punches, saw set for some reason, uh, mechanics stethoscope, pop rivets, sharpening stone, toothbrushes, scratch all. This drawer marked hacksaw is a couple of good high tension hacksaws, good uh, selection of blades. I insist on sharp blades. Uh, you simply can't do work without sharp blades. Uh, a couple of small files, mill knife. This is nice. I've had this for a long time. Made the sheath myself, as you can see. Uh, jeweler saw blades, wire brushes, paper reamer, wrenches. Good collection of uh, inch, metric, Allen wrenches to match, uh, little uh, ratchet wrenches of uh, various sizes. A collection of uh, mostly 7 sixteenths and half. I do like to dedicate single purpose wrenches on all my machines for various adjustments and tightening. Spanner wrenches of various sizes. Tommy bars for adjusting the uh, sprint, the torsion springs on uh, my garage door openers. I like they're very strong springs, and I like to have a torsion bar that fits this, the uh, collar exactly. Not just grab some something at random. Little benders. This one puts a little U-shaped bend in a uh, thin rod. You just slip the, slip the rod into the uh, bender. Yeah. Come on, get in there. You just put the rod into the bender, and then put the whole thing in the vise and squeeze. My own invention. Uh, another homemade pin bender buried under the crescent wrenches here. Pliers, all kinds of pliers. I do like pliers. Vice grips, vice grip wannabes, soft jaw, uh, very strong cutter for wire rope and music wire, uh, anvil cutter for soft material, parallel jaw pliers. Somewhere I have a pair of genuine Bernard pliers that belong to my grandfather. So, channel locks in the smaller sizes, more cutters, more weird wrenches, more weird wrenches, end nippers, multi-articulated pliers, the pliers that uh, if you open it up you can take the jaws out and put a different set of jaws in. Come on, I know it works, because I've done it before. Mostly I think it's uh, to let you uh, carry a large number of different styles of plier in a small space, like for a car tool kit. But it's really hard to find anything when the drawer starts to get this crowded. And the drawer marked electrical. It's got uh, 
couple flashlights. For some reason, my Stanley ratcheting tap wrench holder. Cheap VOM, some electrical parts. Oh, a six size tap. It's got uh, 632, 832, 1032. And on the other side, it's got 1024, 12, 24, and quarter 20. So you just uh, run it in until you get to the one you want. Crimpers, some real good crimpers. A bunch of different sets of Weha small tools. Uh, security bits, a set of nut drivers. After I saw someone uh, on YouTube use this as a mystery tool, I just had to have one, so I got it. It's a very slick wire stripper. And it's really, really good for stripping the jackets off of uh, large electrical cables. There's flashlights, voltage testers, odds and ends, some stuff in here, I'm not quite sure why it's in here. Ground clamps, electrical tape. Okay. Okay, in the right hand column, another unlabeled drawer. This one has pencils, uh, Inspection mirrors, magnetic pickups, a pair of scissors, a clever little reversing mirror. When you look into this one, it erects the image, so it's real good for reading uh, motor plates uh, where you need to go in behind and be able to read correctly. Uh, yeah, pencils, carpenter's pencils, carpenter's pencil sharpener. And a Coca-Cola bottle opener. Don't have that hooked up to anything. Punches and chisels. You can never have too many punches and chisels. <clears throat> From a thing for squaring off concrete blocks down to tiny little pin punches. And uh, this is a, a, a sort of a punch in the same way that uh, that this is a sort of a punch. You really never put the end of this on anything. This is for putting into two holes and forcing them to line up. It's a drift. It's not a punch. But once you put that in there and wiggle it around a little bit, these holes are lined up, ready to drop a rivet in, uh, drop your bolt through. Any, speaking of which, these are drifts for uh, knocking out Morse taper uh, devices from their respective uh, sockets. A very old blacksmith sort of a cold chisel, a cranked chisel for machining out round bottom grooves. You just uh, crank it along the bottom of the groove. Same with this for making uh, keyways. Uh, here's a very oddly profiled punch for some specialty purpose. Diamond punch for uh, making V-shaped grooves. You can never have too many punches. Because if you don't, you'll always be grinding your punches to a New shape. Oinks. And that wears down punches more than using them. 
so. Oh, number and letter punches of several sizes. Uh, cork borers. These are good for making uh, holes in soft material. And what's in here? Oh, this is a uh, set of uh, letter punches with a snap, uh, you know, spring actuated punch. Doesn't work very well. You need really soft material for those to work, for that to work. This door is marked air. And it has air fittings, tire pressure gauges, football needle, uh, spare air guns, little pigtails with uh, various uh, fittings on them. I mostly use a system of air quick disconnects uh, that it's a I call it a Euro style but it has this huge center bore compared to American uh, quick dis air quick disconnects so I have to have adapters to when people come to visit uh, to hook up their stuff to my stuff this is supposed to be a five-in-one supposed to be able to take five different styles of uh, and a stepped uh, cone for fitting into uh, every size of uh, opening when you want to pressurize a piece of pipe or something like that. Uh, also thread dope and thread tape of various types. Uh, a new interesting type of uh, pipe sealing compound. It's actually a cord. Loctite 55. It's uh, specified for the fittings on my hot water boiler. <coughs> it says it's the only thing that will hold that hot water back. Another unlabeled drawer. It's got uh, sharpening stones, a uh, angle uh, sharpener from A.G. Russell. This is pretty slick. You set your uh, sharpening rods in there and you just run your knife down one side after the other. Uh, diamond sticks for fast removal and then the ceramic stones for final sharpening. Or if you want to sharpen in a more traditional way, here, here is a stick of three different grades of uh, diamond dust impregnated into a nickel plating on a steel plate. Uh, for some purposes, that big sharpening surface is pretty nice. Set of uh, 61 to 80 uh, drill bits, real tiny. I must not use it much because it's complete. Almost always, when you see these, there's two or three missing because somebody's <coughs> excuse me because somebody's busted them off. But Here's my usual selection of uh, drills, number, letter, and fractional. And a not very good draw plate. Uh, I was thinking of uh, reducing some wire sizes at one point. Screw extractors. Uh, Radio Shack jeweler screwdrivers. And the aptly named Hellbox. This is the drawer 
where I throw something that's too good to throw away, but I don't have any idea where to put it right now. And it's because of that, it tends to get very full. And I mean, what's that? But it's a piece of nylon tube that will be almost exactly the right size for something someday. More tubing. When it's longer, it's copper pipe. Right now, it's copper tubing. Okay, here's the uh, long drawer in the top of the lower section. It has, as you might expect, uh, long stuff. Here's a uh, stick for measuring the depth of liquid in a tank. I think it was for my 20 gallon diesel tank. A uh, number of uh, pry bars of different uh, conformations, including the uh, Red Devil, which is really a wonderful scraper. Uh, one of several titanium uh, pry bars that I own. They're amazingly light and I have yet to bend one or break one. And I have really, really leaned on these. I have, I think, one in each car, one in each garage, and one here in my uh, uh, tool pack. Nice long uh, half inch uh, ratchet extension bar. Use that for working standing up uh, at times. A extension uh, pruner. I guess the only reason it's in here is because it's long. Uh, marked not for steel, but it'll cut a big copper wire. A uh, non-sparking bung wrench. Nice uh, bronze alloy to fit every known uh, bung plug on the planet. Maybe. You can always, can always find one that doesn't fit. For some reason my folding tapes are in here. Uh, clamp on straight edge. More pry bars, small bolt cutters, uh, clamping uh, edge for uh, with uh, depth markings for bending uh, uh, sheet metal. Um, an auger extension. A bigger auger extension and a nice uh, power auger. You can tell it's power by the hex drive, and that will punch through wood pretty efficiently. And back in here, uh, these three tubes are a collection of nice, sharp. Uh, augers for deep hole drilling in wood. Uh, these are sized to 1 16th over several common nominal sizes. Uh, I have a 9 16th for uh, uh, just over half one and a sixteenth, and uh, presumably this one is a sixteenth over three quarters. Bicycle pump for some reason. Again, probably just because it's long. A couple of gas struts that I bought for something I never used. Oh, and a 
another inspection mirror. This one with a light with a dead battery. But this one is articulated and as I say lighted and can be set back into the deepest darkest corners. Of course by that time the image, no it's got a magnifying mirror. I'll be darned, never noticed that. So yeah this lets you uh, reach a long way in and light your way if you've uh, kept the batteries in good shape. Okay, going down the left side of the lower cabinet. Quarter and three eighths socket wrenches along with all the different stuff for uh, all the different uh, tools, torque wrench, extensions, and so forth. Put a yellow flash on all these tools, and during the uh, nearly 10 years of construction, uh, with this tool cabinet sitting open to anybody who needed something, I never lost a single tool. Uh, sometimes a socket would disappear for a couple of weeks and uh, next time a carpenter cleaned out his uh, nail pouch you'd find it and he'd bring it back. And, uh, but I ended up the job 10 years, never lost a tool. Half inch sockets, torque wrench, all the different uh, sides, including uh, a number of uh, square octagon uh, sockets for various things. It's uh, really handy if you need to drive something square. Come on, I know this fits in there, but yeah, you can. Something you can't easily do with a uh, 12 point. It'll fit, but the the surfaces don't mate. Large wrenches. Large crescent wrenches uh, up to a 18 incher here. Large crescent wrenches up to, no that's a 24, that's not a 36. Uh, 24 inch crescent or uh, pipe wrench, uh, aluminum rigid, uh, big channel locks, and large uh, box end wrenches. Files of various sorts. File cards. Uh, large files, medium, small. Uh, also, for some reason, a uh, chassis nibbler and some uh, microplane rasps. Lots of little stuff like that. Oh, my uh, collection of uh, thread chaser files uh, with protective handles, but uh, they'll handle uh, clean up really. They don't, they don't make new threads, but they'll clean up damaged threads. Metric and uh, Imperial. Hammers. Oxtool and Abom will like to see this, including Maybe the world's most savagely depressed lead head hammer. <laughs> and my, my famous not a hammer. This is a cold chisel. The handle is just to keep it in place while your assistant uh, smacks it with the uh, 
sledgehammer. Uh, carpenter's claw hammer. My dad's old uh, rock hammer. My mother's tack hammer with the magnetized tip. And bronze. Bronze hammers of all sizes, shapes. My grandfather's old miniature ball peen hammer, slide hammer, hatchet, and a dead blow thumper. And bottom drawer is just miscellany wire, tin snips, extra soft vice jaws. Okay, right column, lower tool case. This is technically flat blade screwdrivers, although there's a set of mix that I got for Christmas one year and all kinds of uh, quarter inch hex bits. Four to one driver, that's kind of neat. Little mini driver for uh, X bits, but primarily flat blade screwdrivers and primarily Phillips blade screwdrivers. Although I see some uh, multi bit sets here and a fancy Weha uh, selection of uh, different uh, tool bits, craftsman set of something. Craftsman Professional. Well, it appears to oh, it's one of those quick change drill and drive sets. I think that was another Christmas present. Very cool. This is a Weha driver where the uh, Phillips blade will tip 15 degrees so you can come in at an angle and uh, still tighten. Uh, I've got a couple sizes of that. A uh, speed driver, ratchet offset set, uh, one of many magnet on one end and uh, Phillips uh, screw starter on the other end. And the third one is Allen wrenches, but it also has Torx wrenches as well. It's got uh, various uh, sets from Bondus, Eklund. Uh, this one's missing a wrench out of it right now. I tend to buy single purpose wrenches when I need a wrench on a long term basis, but all different sizes. Uh, torques up to some fairly sizable numbers. Long arm hex keys from what you might consider normal sizes up to some moderately big ones up to a three-quarter inch very handy for some things although I suppose being machinist if somebody in this audience happened to need a three-quarter inch hex driver they could make one on their uh, milling machine pretty quick. Big metrics there. Big uh, jackknife type uh, collections. Another unlabeled thing. Some flashlight, fancy flashlights in different colors. 
uh, tubing benders, tubing cutters, various wire strippers, uh, plumber's tools, uh, tight quarters pipe cutter, more tubing benders, basin wrench, and for some reason, a set of uh, straight leg Allen wrenches. And the bottom drawer has a DeWalt drill and a set of earmuffs. <clears throat> Looking back on the uh, mount uh, that I took this video with, I do have to say that even the largest Noga base, at least the largest I've heard of, comes on the giant arm, uh, basically has no holding power when the sheet metal is thin. you got to have big iron for big magnets to stick to.